Sephora, their lip story is at number three. I am excited to announce that this particular video is in collab with one of my good friends here on YouTube, Kezia. Her channel's name is Kezi's Corner. If you like my channel, you would definitely love her channel. She's all about fashion with a heavier focus on makeup slash lifestyle vlog type of videos. If you want to discover Malta, she is a channel that you need to check out because I find myself super intrigued every time she does a vlog and she gets to show Malta and her beautiful kitty, Nemo. If you love colorful but wearable type of makeup, she's your girl. So make sure that by the end of this video, you go ahead, head over to her channel. If you love her content, go ahead and subscribe. Tell her that Daisy sent you and drop her a comment. I will have her link and her channel down below. We're both doing a pretty little thing haul. But my video is the Valentine's Day edition. Are these Valentine's Day edition sleepwear from Pretty Little Thing worth it? You know I don't hold back. Let's get into it, bitches. Numero uno is this black romper right here. Right off the bat, it's okay. It looks great from far away, but the minute I got it in my hands and I tried it on, it wasn't my cup of tea, to be quite honest with you. The fit was all wrong for me. Where the rope belt goes is just away from where the hem is fixated. It just doesn't land well. It was really difficult for me to get my body into this. And granted, this is the only one that actually fitted me the best out of all the ones that you're about to see. It's cute if I wear it for Valentine's Day and for my husband, he would definitely love it. But I'm thinking as a consumer, I don't really like the material of this. It's really super fine. And quite honestly, it just feels so cheap. I mean, this should actually be $5 at my local little mom and pop shop. So in theory, it looks great from far. But up close, honestly, this one in particular is not my cup of tea. But I wish it was because the idea of this would have been beautiful. Numero dos. Love this pink satiny little number with a little bow on the front. I got all of these in size 6 and they all fit me huge. And I'm pretty much a well-rounded size 6. This one doesn't fit me at all. It feels like if I make a sudden move, the string on the top is going to break in a moment's notice. That's how thin the material is. Honestly, it just feels like a novice like me that doesn't make clothes, wanted to venture out, went to buy a fabric, bought the cheapest fabric to experiment with, put two little strings on the top and called it a night. Color is stunning. I love this satiny rich pink. I mean, if the material was better, this would have been one stunning number. But once you get it in your hands, it's just it's not there. I don't love it. Numero tres. I was excited about this one because it's a little silky robe and I tend to use silky robes because they're just easy. You just throw it over if someone knocks on the door or I have to run to the kitchen. There's people there. I just throw my robe over and I'm good. But this one, it just doesn't stay on my body and it fits uber big. Again, it has no structure, no substance to this. It just feels like a hanging material that keeps flying off your body. Even when I tie it on, it just doesn't stay there. It's so slippery. Again, the idea of it could have been really good because it is. it does look beautiful. It just needs the substance, the material, the fabric to be a lot better and these things are like almost twenty dollars i mean like i said this should have been at least five dollars in my local store oh my god i feel like i'm roasting this video today the color is beautiful numero cuatro i love little slip dresses like this and this is the type that i actually really like because it's just so comfortable sexy slinky easy it feels good on my skin but not this one no sorry bob not this one i was so disappointed when i wore this because i was like okay they can't all be bad right Ugh. this one is not great the fit is just horrible again it's a size six it's super big for me on the top it just has like no body framing 
granted these are not meant to be tight i get it it's supposed to be kind of like at least have some type of shape it just looks boxed like a box type of garment that i just threw over my body and it sucks because it's white it should be beautiful i wouldn't think something like this would be that difficult to make beautiful but again it's lacking that substance quality it's just not worth it to me to be quite honest with you and it's really disappointing because i really love the idea of this i was so excited to shop for these online and lastly, this one was probably the one that I was most excited about because it just looks different to me. Again, we have the satiny, stunning, beautiful type of pink that if the quality was there, it would just look spectacular. I love this type of look. The shorts made it so unique for me with the little tank top shirt. It's just so cheap that I can't get over how it looks. And I know in, with Pretty Little Thing that all their clothing is not like this. I know they're not created equal. This just didn't do it for me. It was all horrible for me again. The shirt looked like it was just no shape, no form, no rhyme or reason for it. Just so off that it was really quite disappointing to be honest with you. And it sucks because I love this. I wish it would actually look really good. I wanted to keep something from this for Valentine's Day because that was the point of this video. And sadly to say, I won't be keeping this one either. In my opinion, this pretty little thing sleepwear haul, unfortunately, is not worth it. Ah. <sighs> It sucks because now I have nothing to wear for Valentine's Day. Or should I say night? What do you guys think down below? Have you shopped Pretty Little Thing Sleeper and what do you think? Don't forget to check out my girl's Kezi's Corner. Her link is down below and tell her that Daisy sent you and say hi for me. What the fuck are you waiting for? It's time for you to subscribe to my channel. Hit the thumbs up or the thumbs down. I dare you. And hit the notification bell because it will notify you of my next video.